In this question, you are being asked to identify the figure that should appear in Annie's Statement of Profit or Loss for the year ended 30th of June 20x6 for purchases. Now, if we have a look at the detail that's been presented in this question, you're told that Annie is a sole trader and that she doesn't keep full accounting records. We've been given the details of transactions relating to both credit customers as well as suppliers, and this is for the year ended 30th of June 20x6. It's important to note that the question is asking us to derive the purchases figure, yet here we've been presented with information both for customers and suppliers. This means that some of the information provided will not be relevant for us in calculating the purchases figure. We're simply interested in the information relating to suppliers what this means is that instantly we can disregard the information about receivables at the start of the year, any cash that's received from customers because that's going to be to do with sales and information about the receivables at the end of the year. We can simply ignore these numbers. The rest of the information that's provided in this question is going to be relevant for us in calculating that purchases figure. The best way to approach this question is to consider producing a T account. So let's do exactly that. Let's start by getting down the heading of this T account, which will be payables. We're going to use the payables T account and the information we have here to work backwards to get the purchases figure. Payables are a liability and therefore the balance brought forward will be a credit entry. Next in the list, we have information about cash paid to suppliers. This will reduce the balance outstanding to our suppliers, so we can put this on the debit side. We then have discounts received. Discounts received will also reduce the balance outstanding to suppliers. We'll put this on the debit side. We then have information about contras between payables and receivables. A contra entry will always reduce a payable and a receivable by the amount provided. Here the amount is 2000. Lastly, we have information about the closing balance of the payables at year end. This will be a closing balance that's on the debit side so that the brought forward balance will be on the credit. With all the numbers populated into this T account, it is now a case of balancing this ledger and working out the missing number for our purchases. If we total this T account, we can see that the debits are higher, equating to 391,760. We'll make that the total on both sides of this ledger. The balancing entry, in order for this T account to work, will have to represent the purchases figure that will be on the credit side, and this amounts to the difference here of 331,760. Don't forget to add that number into the solution box provided in this question.